Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about microprogrammed control unit. Right. Now what happens to execute a computer instruction? A sequence of micro operations are to be performed. Right. So to perform these uh, micro operations, a control unit generates control signals. Right. Now what are these control signals? These control signals are group of bits. Right. Now in case of hardwired control unit, in case of hardwired control unit, these control signals are generated by control logic gates. Right. But in case of micro programmed control unit, these control signals are stored in a memory, right? And that memory is called control memory. Right. So in case of microprogrammed control unit, the control information is stored in a memory which is called control memory. Right. Now each word of a control memory contains a micro instruction. Right? And this micro instruction con uh, contains a control word. And this control word specifies one or more micro operations. Right? And what happens? A sequence of micro instructions form a micro program. Right. So, for each computer instruction, there is a micro program in control memory. Right. Now, what happens? Some bits of a micro instruction specifies micro operations. Right. And some bits of micro instruction are used to generate the address of next micro instruction. Right. Right. Some bits of micro instruction specifies micro operations and some bits of micro instructions are used to generate the address of next micro instruction. See most of the time this uh, control memory is ROM that is read only memory. Right. But there is a more advanced development which is known as dynamic microprogramming. Right. Now what happens uh, this dynamic microprogramming right it permits a micro program to be loaded from auxiliary memory right now see this uh, configuration of micro programmed control unit right a micro instruction is read from control memory and kept in control data register some bits of micro instructions are used to generate the address of next micro instruction right the address of next micro instruction may also be a function of external input conditions now here there is a circuit called next address generator which generates the address of next micro instruction it is also called micro program sequencer right now the address which is generated by the next address generator is transferred into control address register right this uh, address which was generated by the next address uh, generator right it is transferred into control address register to read the next micro instruction from control memory right now see this uh, control data register it is also called pipeline register right now a micro instruction contains a control word also and that control word specifies one or more micro operations right and while micro operations are being executed the address of next micro instruction is computed in the next address generator circuit and then transferred into the control address register to read the next micro instruction right